Give huh? you a choice. No, but it's not because why? You know the atheists they always refute us because they believe the Muslims. <laughs> brother, brother, <laughs> brother, <laughs> brother. It's not brother. He's speaking. You know he's new. He wants to speak. Calm down. Be polite. Well, you have to understand. Look, look. If you, shh, brother, this guy is too much, man. If you believe God loves everyone, love is special. I don't believe Allah loves everyone. So it's not the same. So when you say God loves everyone, okay, that's God loves Satan. But it's, God, it's Satan everyone, including everyone. Every human. Okay. okay, in the Bible it said God loved Jacob and hate Esau. Uh, 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 um, Esau. Yeah, hate Esau, hate Esau. It's Esau human, Esau is human. Esau is the half, uh, yeah, twin yeah, brother. Oh you see? Him, so he hates him, he says he hates him. You see about the point? Like, I don't have a Bible with me right now. Huh? I don't have a Bible right now. Yeah, he knows it, he knows it. Do you know it? Yeah, he says, he says, he says God... Well, you just don't want to listen. I know. Anyway, you, I was going to say to you, like, that's the problem. God's love is special, correct? God's love is special. So if God's love is special, therefore there's a way to gain God's love, correct? Yeah. So therefore, God does not love everyone if I have to gain it. You see, if I have to gain something, it doesn't mean he loves me. He's given you a choice. I understand. Huh? Yes, I'm saying. No, I'm not saying. I'm saying God, the, the Old Testament or the New Testament. My point well, here is. The New Testament says you don't have to earn it. Huh? The New yes, Testament says you don't have to gift. earn it. Bro. You don't have to earn it. No. no to okay, so well, okay, okay. If I don't have to earn it, yeah. no problem. It's a free gift. Okay, let's ask this. Okay, if I don't have to earn it, why is it gonna put me in the hellfire then? No, you put yourself in hellfire. But I don't have to earn nothing. You reject the gospel of Jesus, so you put yourself in hellfire. But he said I don't have to earn it. Why? You don't have to earn it. It says you have to accept. So you have to accept. Right. So I have to earn it. He died and rose again. Look, if you, if you love your wife, yeah. and your wife doesn't want to be with you anymore, yeah. and she says, I'm going to jump off the bridge, or no, if she if she wants to go somewhere else, and you know it's bad for her, and you tell her, I love you, don't go there, it's going to be dangerous. Yeah. But she says, I want to go, please let me go. Will you force her to stay with you? That's an analogy. Firstly, I'm so not going... Will, will you force her to stay with you? I, I, I'm not, will you let her? I'm, I, I will trying, for, to, I'm I, trying to convince her. No, will you let her do all no, that's a good thing? question. If I have the absolute power like God, I will I'll force her. But then you don't let her give her free will. Yeah, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Now she's going to commit suicide because I love her. Then I would do anything to stop her. Would you agree with me? So you, 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 you you okay, okay. okay. <laughs> see, that's what I said. Brother, brother, look, look. Wait, wait. You talk about apostate. When the Old Testament said kill apostate, was he right or wrong? Old Testament. Was God right? What's up to you? Me, I'm Christian. So you don't believe the Old Testament? I'm a Christian. Do you believe the God of the Old Testament? No, no. What what does does have to do? do you believe in the God of the Old Testament? Show me where in the Bible I'm on the Old Testament. Do you believe in the God of the Old Testament? He's not going to say My question is, do you believe in the God of Old Testament? Yes, I believe in the Old Testament. Was he right when he said kill apostate? He was talking to Israelites. I didn't ask you that. Was he right? Was he right or wrong? Was he right or wrong? I understand there was a covenant, but was he right or wrong? It's also the Jesus covenant. No, I was it. Blood Brother, yeah. was he right or wrong when he said kill post state? You don't want to listen. When God said that? You don't want to listen because it's not like that. Okay, why? why, why, why? If God makes judgments. God is allowed to make judgments. Israel, judgments are right. just. That's what I'm saying. So when God, our God makes judgments, it's haram for you. No, I don't it's know. forbidden. That's what I'm saying. So logically no, speaking... No, no, because your judgments for eternity. No, no, no. That's for eternity. No, no, wait, wait. 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 Uh, okay. Anyway, I'll speak to you, brother. What you have to understand, bro, if I love someone, I would do anything to save the person. You understand? Because I love them. You know, love is special. You know, if the queen... Brother, what's your name? But if you love someone, you give them freedom. Huh? If you love but someone, you would not, do anything to save them. Is that correct? I would not love my wife in my basement to save her. Brother, but would you, would you follow her to not kill herself? Would you do anything to save her? Would you call police say, listen, she's going to kill herself. I love her. Can you help me? Say it again. I didn't get that. If you know for sure. I like that smile. I like that smile. <laughs> look, look. Brother, if I love someone, yeah? If I love someone... I would do anything to save that person if I truly love, because there's a true love and a fake love. There is a love which people say, brother, I love you, I care about you. But when you go through hardship, they will leave you. That's a fake love. The true love, when you go through hardship, that's when you know who loves you and who really, who really loves you and who really just lying against you. So my point here is, yeah, I'm scared of you. I'm scared. Yeah. So my point, look, look, what I'm saying to you, look, what I'm saying to you, bro, are you, you, are you you're a Christian, correct? Allah, okay. Where, okay, alaikum salam, take care. Could you say salam alaikum? This guy clearly is more, more, just mocking, he's not interested in our discussion. Yeah. Okay. What I would say to you, you, do you believe Jesus as God? Sorry? Do you believe Jesus to be God? He's the son of God, yes. He's the son of God, okay? So he's not God, you don't believe he's God? 
He's also God. He's also God. I always ask question, yeah? Is there anyone more knowledgeable than God? No. So when Jesus said, no one knows the day and the hour, not even the angels in the heaven, nor, nor the Son, but only the Father knows the hour. Was he saying the truth or was he lying? So what did he say? Jesus in Mark 13, 32 said, no one knows the day and the hour. Okay, but then Jesus was a human, right? At this okay. Time. So he didn't know the hour, but then he rose to heaven and they became three. Yeah, but God knows everything all the time. But when Jesus was on the earth, he was a human, right? Yeah. yeah. And he was able to... Because God knows everything all the time. If God didn't know the hour on Monday or Sunday, regardless of what he become. Because if he become human, by definition, human is not God anymore. And by definition, God is not human. You see? Because if he became human, then who is going to bring him back to become God? And doesn't make any sense, to be honest. Because some stuff we only believe in our heads does not exist in the real world. By definition, human is not God, correct? Okay. By definition, God is not human. Yeah. So how you tell me God became human? It was a son. Yeah, but a son, you believe son was God as well. You know, uh, look, look, it's, uh, that's the beauty of Islam, yeah? Islam, we believe in one God, perfect God, has a perfect attribute, who chose people amongst us, Moses, Abraham, Jesus, Jacob, Isaiah, Daniel, to convey the message, what is our purpose of this life? But we don't believe, none of them claim to be God, because God, when he sent them, he sent them to convey the message. That's why God said in the Quran, if any one of them claim to be God, then God will destroy him. Because they were doing the job of God, meaning conveying what is our purpose in this life. Because our intellect is limited. We cannot know in detail how to worship our creator. If you, if you agree that our intellect is limited, yeah. it's not for me to comprehend how Jesus was God and human at the same time. That's a good because question. No, I can't comprehend. No, we're not talking, we're going to say our intellect is limited. When we're talking about God and human, we're talking about something we can comprehend. You see, I'm not asking you how, how big God is. Or how does he look? Because we don't know. So the question that, our, that the subject we are dealing with in hand is a subject that both as we know human, we know who, who is human, they are imperfect, they are born, everything. So we know who is human. If you tell me God became human, I'll tell you it doesn't make any sense because I know who he, the nature of human being. You understand? So we're not talking about something beyond our comprehension, our understanding. You with me? So now if God became a human, that's a contradiction because but God... If you, but if you accept the Bible and say that God sent his son to be human for a given period of time until he became God again, then that's... That's a contradiction. It doesn't make any God, sense. God you can, can, can God decide to become a human? Can he? That's he's it. No okay, when you say can, he can. no, 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 no. no. Because I don't think God cannot. Wait, 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 brother. You can't ask question. There's different between... Brother, brother, brother. There's different between what God is and what God does. What God is, does it change? Okay. So you are you doing? You talking about God, what God does, then you said, can it change? No. God, what God is, that will make God. Now, for example, can you say God, he knows sometimes, he doesn't know sometimes. Or you say God knows everything all the time. That's it. Uh, so what are we talking about? What God is. What God is doesn't change. What God does, he does whatever he wishes, according to his wisdom. That's paradox, brother. No, but it's a possibility if you want. As you say, okay. he can. Okay, no, wait. It's the same question. Can no, you make no. That he can live? The no, that's a paradox. That's yeah, a paradox. It's a par you agree with it? Yeah. yeah, it's a paradox. Because if God became human, okay, now what is human? Humans have God power anymore. So what happened to his power? Gone. So where's going to start? Be confused. I need to become God back again. Come on, brother. No, but that's why it's when he's when he believe in Trinity as a Christian. Brother, you know what's paradox, by the way? You know, but no, 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 yeah. paradox is like telling me someone exists yeah. and don't exist at the same time. Yeah. It's a paradox. Yeah. Is it not a paradox? God, perfect all the time, yeah. but he's going to become imperfect. That's a paradox. Because if you say God perfect by definition all the times, then you say to me, you know what? 2002, he became imperfect. But you just told me God is perfect all the times. That's why you have differentiate between what God is and what God does. What God is does not change. What God does, he spoke to Moses, but he never spoke to me, you know? He created the Jesus without a father, but not me, you understand? He spoke to Prophet Muhammad, but not you, you understand? You know, the, 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 no, brother, this possibility, brother, this possibility, no, it doesn't make any sense, brother, I forgot possibilities. 
Because what you have to understand, bro, there is something which really exists and something only exists in your head. Like the Bible mentioned here, good point. It can God create stone that you cannot lift? That is a paradox. This, 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 this question is wrong. Why? Because if God was able to create something heavy, therefore God has more power than it to begin with. You see, and the, 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 last, the last part of the question contradicts the first part of the question. And this was, uh, these questions was created and was made by a group called Sophistar Iyun from the Greek philosophers. Aristotle himself refuted them, Plato refuted them. What they used to do in an argument is to create questions which doesn't make any sense, just to confuse the, the opponents. You with me? Okay? So what God is doesn't change. So the point here, bro, look, what we say to you, we keep talking about Christianity. Islam is simple. God is one. Okay? God is three in one. Doesn't make any sense as a shampoo. Hmm? Three in one shampoo? <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. How three in one? <laughs> shampoo, you know shampoo? Three in one. I'm joking. But look, how good is three in one, bro? Doesn't make any sense as well. That's a paradox. But, but you just said we're humans and we don't understand everything. No, you but again. Definition also. Bro, again. No, no, brother, brother, it's not about small. Brother, you agree with him? Who is talking about? No. Yeah, you said, bro, it's small. No. no. Wait, wait, brother. Yeah, yeah, listen, listen, brother. What you have to understand, bro, again, what we're talking about here. We're not talking about something we cannot understand. Let me make it clear to you. Is the Father fully God? Yes. How many God do we have now? How many God do we have? One God. One God. No. Okay. Is the Son fully God? Now, yes. When he was on earth, he was. Yeah, yeah. Even now. Is he, is he fully God for the sake of argument? How many God do we have now? Still one. So How many temple you have? No, no, wait, 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 wait. Father is fully God. The son, so if the Father is fully God, we only have one God. We do not in need of another God. <laughs> Look, you know why, yeah? Well, I believe the mighty messenger Jesus, he never came with this teaching. That's a teaching that was adapted by the pagans, the Roman pagans. Jesus never came with this. Jesus clearly said, the only true God is the Father. In the Quran, he said clearly also, all the Israelites, worship your God and your, uh, my God, who is Allah. The teaching of Jesus is so clear. The, 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 the true teaching of Jesus, it makes sense to a child. Likewise, it makes sense to the shepherd. Likewise, it makes sense to the person who has PhD in Oxford University. The true teaching of Jesus. Why? Sorry, brother. One God sent the prophets and messengers. No God. There's two God, but there's one God. But the Father is fully God. The Son is fully God. But there's only one, two God, one God. If you only have one God, if you have the Holy Spirit, how many God do you have? It's still one God. Come on, bro. That's why, you know, Jesus said, the only true God is the Father. Do you agree with that? That is John 10, 3. Wait, wait, brother. Yeah. I agree, yeah, because the Father. Why Father? Yes, good point. The Father was used among the Israelites to refer to God because God used to take care of them. So they used it as metaphorical. Not as, and also in Aramaic, Aramaic, you know, Aramaic is another language. Syriac, Aramaic. No, not Aramaic, Syriac. Syriac, they used to refer to God as an Ab which means Arab, the Lord, you see. But people afterward misunderstood it, took it as literal. They took it as literal. No, as I said, that term father was used as a Lord, not as actual father. So he meant Lord. Yes, father. that's what he meant, yeah. 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 So my question was, is to you now, bro, yeah? Sorry for, sorry for taking your time. Thank you. Well, listen to this, bro. Watch this, yeah? When Jesus said the only true God is the Father, was he speaking the truth or was he lying? Of course, was he speaking the truth? Is Jesus the Father? Is Jesus God? Yes. But Jesus said the only true God is the Father. And he just told me Jesus is not the Father. Habibi, Habibi, Akhi, Khali, Tikalam, Akhi, Khuya, Tikalam. Because you just agreed the only true God is the Father. Okay? And you agreed with me. No, I'm not putting words in your mouth. You agreed with me, Jesus is not the Father. The thing is, you know the Bible better than I do, probably, right now. Yeah, about a foundation. You can see, she, do you agree with that, by the way? What? She said that God does not everything. That's stupid. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. That's true. Hey, you know. But that psalm, that psalm you're talking about, yeah. Psalm 82 or 83, it's not talking about human beings. Talking about human beings. If you read it, it's talking about God and it's talking about a divine council. So when it talks about those that come before him, it's talking about the Elohim as in like, when, it, when in the Bible, when Daniel talks about um, Michael, the archangel Michael, it's talking about those 
No, it's, it's, talking, it's, it's talking about human beings. It's talking about judges, human beings. No, 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 it's talking about human beings. Okay. Go look at it. You look it up. Look it up in the Dead Sea Scrolls. You look up the the. the I can't look. So then, and even in the Septuagint, you can see it. It's not just talking about Elohim as in like God's counsel. A bit like when yeah, like not, it says not, in Job, when it says in Job, yeah. in, the, in the book of Job, it says that uh, that Satan. The, uh, I'm not going to say. I'm just going to say that. I'm just going to say that. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. It says that, it says that uh, Satan came before yeah. God when he's supposed to go and trouble Job. Yeah. It says he came before the divine council, before God's throne. And there's like this divine kind of... So, is it, so you're saying those gods is a true god? No, I'm saying that particular... You know, are, you took, are you talking about the angels? They're angels, you think? It's like Elohim. It's like a... They're not, they're not like god, god. That's what I'm saying. That, they're divine beings. Yeah, yeah. So, Regardless, he's, he's still so proof my point. Jesus said to the, the Pharisees, when he said, oh, um, you know, isn't it written that you are god? god? He wasn't saying, speaking to them, saying that you are. No, 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 no. He's referring, referring to, to Psalms. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of these other Elohim... I understand that because in the Bible said yeah. Moses... God said to Moses, I will send you as Elohim mm. yeah, to Pharaoh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Because even the term God, if it's used in the Bible, doesn't mean God, God the Father, yeah, or the true God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see? That's my point. That's why I'm calling you. I'm calling people to worship the true God. But however, however, look, the, even, I don't want to even go to the Bible. So many, so check out I, will, I will, I will. I will. I will. No, but I see you can use it. Because it's not referring to... My point here is, God in the Bible, sometimes is used not for the true God. Elohim. Yeah, it's not, he's used even for human being. Not just human, no, 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 I'm, not, I'm saying not saying just human being, but it's used for also for human being. Yeah. yeah, but it's used for Moses. Like the Canaanites, they would use Elohim as well. Yeah, but my point here is used. But I, I want to come back to him because he may seem like more open minded. Not you're open minded as well, but you don't want to carry on. Yeah, but we need to. Anyway, bro, think about it. I will, I will Understand? The, I will read the Bible again. Yeah, read, read it. Next week. Inshallah, maybe. Inshallah, by God's will. Anyway, take care. Have a good day.